the event is called a big day just because that's what birders call these, these events. And it generally means for bird watchers a day in which a person devotes a 24-hour period to seeing as many species as possible. My name is Glenn Seelzer. I'm a uh, graduate student at the Louisiana State University Museum of Natural Science where I study evolutionary biology focused on birds with the goal of becoming a curator of ornithology at a major uh, natural history collection. So being a curator at a natural history museum uh, entails trying to answer two basic questions about uh, biodiversity. Number one is how many species there are on Earth, and then number two, where are those species distributed. There are only a few places in the country that really specialize in the type of ornithology I like to do, which is neotropical ornithology, uh, and LSU is uh, number one by far, probably in the world. It's got the most, um, I guess, storied history in ornithology for uh, discovery-driven research. In 1982, uh, a Princeton graduate student, Scott Robinson, and an LSU researcher, uh, Ted Parker, uh, set the world big day record for the most number of species seen within a single day. What's really exciting about this big day is that it's, an, it's our way to engage the community in what we do professionally. But what we're really focused on is the research that we're raising money for. The place we're going is called the Alto Mayo region of Peru, and it's probably bar none one of the best places in the world for bird watching. We just returned from Peru, and we have a new big day record of 354 species, which beats the previous mark uh, by around 22 species. To accomplish a, a birding feat like this, you can't do it with one person. Uh, we had one of the authors of the Field Guide to the Birds of Peru, Dan Lane, who's a research associate here at the museum, one of the up-and-coming experts on South American birds, uh, Mike Harvey, and of course uh, our Peruvian colleague, Fernando Angulo, who is a Peruvian ornithologist and has spent a lot of time birding these areas as well. Around 5 p.m., we had accumulated over 330 species and we knew we had broken uh, the record. After we kept birding, uh, we eventually arrived at 354, which is, we smashed the uh, previous record. So believe me, we are beyond excited that we were able to accomplish this world record. So 30 years ago, when the first uh, world record was set uh, by Parker and Robinson, uh, we had a fraction of the knowledge of distributions of the taxonomy, um, of vocalizations, of the natural history and ecology of neotropical birds. Now 30 years on, that has expanded exponentially our knowledge, and a lot of that is due to the work of LSU researchers. That's a big reason why I came to LSU, to the Museum of Natural Science in particular, uh, is because uh, this museum has been a, a leader on all these fronts. Being at the LSU Museum of Natural Science, uh, it's probably the only place in the world where this kind of coalescence of birders could have happened to have something like this occur.